all my name is krishnak and welcome to my vlogging channel so guys another data science general q and a video and in this particular video i am going to provide you three main strategies for preparing for data science i've already created a short video in my main youtube channel but i really wanted to create a detailed video regarding the same thing so let's proceed and let's understand the first strategy the first strategy should be guys you really need to focus on the basic things that you're learning in machine learning or deep learning or whatever topics you are actually picking up this is very much important let me take an example with respect to deep learning in deep learning guys there are a lot of advanced concepts like object detection probably they are nlp natural language processing transformers bert and all for all this kind of advanced algorithm you know what is the most common thing that you should really focus on that is the base the base basically means you have to learn topics like lox function optimizers what are the different types of optimizers and this base will actually build up any advanced concepts that you'll be probably going to learn in the future this is the same case in the machine learning thing also suppose if i'm trying to learn about confusion metrics i'm trying to learn about different different performance metrics i really need to understand why we are using that and how you are using this so in short please make sure that you focus on the basics this will actually help you to learn any advanced concepts that you are actually going to learn over there in the future this is a very very important thing guys trust me many people skip this and nowadays in the interview also they will be focusing on this basic thing they'll not say that directly explain me transformers instead they'll ask you what kind of projects you have actually done and they'll ask you some basic things right in 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 a machine learning i may tell you that okay why do you use this uh, performance metrics okay what are the different types of machine learning algorithms and in this also guys different different machine learning algorithms are also there which is basically solving classification and regression problems right you'll be seeing that when you're learning the machine learning algorithms properly you'll be able to solve the use cases in an amazing way because you know the various parameters that may be used in those algorithms so in short guys please focus on your basics this is very much important and this is the first important strategy that you should focus on now when i talk about basics it also includes statistics it also includes vision anything that you are trying to learn right the basics needs to be strong now coming to the second strategy guys try to solve as many as end to end projects guys try to solve many end to end projects let it be machine learning projects let it be deep learning projects now why i am telling you this one it's not like see when you are solving many end to end projects and when you go for the interview you will be definitely able to tell so many things in front of the interviewer regarding any project that you have created since you have created that entire project end to end you will be facing lot of difficulties lot of problems and if you have spent time in solving those kind of problems trust me the interviewer will have a very good impression regarding that right because you know so many things you will be having so many things to talk in front of the interviewer you know there are many people even some of my subscriber directly say me krish can you give me some end to end project that you have already developed i say yes go and pick up from my project or from my playlist itself in my main channel right but i also make them understand saying that this will not be sufficient this project i have done it so i know what are the inner and out things in this i have actually done i have completed the entire life cycle but you have not done it right just by seeing this project you will not be able to talk in front of the interviewer instead try to solve your own project now usually students freshers ask which kind of project should we solve take a kaggle project convert it into an end to end project that also i have shown you in my playlist how to do it remember guys whatever projects i usually upload in my playlist that should be taken as an example and that you should try to solve a new similar kind of projects over there nowadays many students many uh, experienced people many professional people are actually doing this thing and they are able to make a successful career transition so after understanding a basic machine learning end to end project after understanding a end to end deep learning project try to implement many projects as possible you have all whole lot of data you have different types of competitions you have different different apis which will actually help you to get all those specific data this is the second main strategy guys now coming to the final strategy right this focus on data sto storytelling now this data storytelling is very much important because see from the first two step you have built the concept with respect to data science you know everything you you have that specific thing in your mind right you know all the concepts you have everything but if you are not able to present it in front of anyone then how you will be able to clear the interviews 
data storytelling skill is a very very important skill in data science guys if you know this you'll be able to talk with the clients you'll be able to make them understand what is the problem whether that's use case is solvable or not what are the challenges with respect to this particular use case how you're going to solve that particular problem how you're going to create reports and give it to the stakeholders you really need to have that specific talent this is the most important thing out of this guys if you have knowledge if you're not able to present it in front of anyone then what is the use if i have data science knowledge if i do not have the capability to teach someone then what is the use of this particular skill right so this is the third main strategy that i really want you all to focus guys please make sure that if you're planning to make, become a data scientist you are planning to make a quick transition just fo focus on these three things you don't have to focus on any other thing don't listen to any other thing keep on practicing keep on learning you'll definitely be able to clear the transition right so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe the channel if you are not already subscribed and yes guys please do subscribe the channel it takes a lot of effort to make this kind of videos so definitely this will actually motivate me if you try to subscribe the channel right so i hope you like this particular video i'll see you in the next video have a great day ahead thank you one and all bye bye